All right, hi everyone, my name is Kevin. So um, today we'll be calculating the electric potential due to a solid sphere. So on the right there, I have a little pretty simple sketch of it. So basically big R is going to be the radius of the whole sphere, um, whereas little r is going to refer to um, basically the radius of a, a point within the sphere. And so I've pretty much broken this down to um, three different sections. Um, for us to go through. So first is um, conditions, second is electric field, and three is calculations. Alright, so let's go ahead and start off. So first with our conditions here. So um, it's pretty, this, this part's pretty simple. So um, first we need to identify that um, rho, or the charge density of the sphere, um, is equal to um, Q, the charge, over B, the volume. So basically, um, we can substitute in um, for the volume, 4 thirds pi r cubed. And then um, going down to the last step there, um, as we kind of simplify that, that's how it looks right there. Rho is equal to 3 q over 4 pi um, r cubed. All right, so next is the electric field. All right, so start off here, um, we're going to find the integral over the closed surface um, of the electric field um, times dA. And that's basically going to be equal to um, Q enclosed over epsilon naught. So kind of simplifying the two sides right there, um, after taking the integral, the E just comes out there. And then um, dA, basically, we can get the area of the sphere. And that comes out to um, 4 pi um, r squared. And then on the right side, um, Q enclosed is, is equal to the um, basically the charge is equal to the charge density times the volume. And we go down to the um, third part right there. Um, we basically substitute in for the charge density um, and the volume, which um, we just we just got both those earlier in the conditions. And so that um, puts a lot of terms in there. And then once we go down to next step, that's basically simplifying that right there. And then um, Finally, going down to the bottom, um, we are dividing um, each side by 4 pi r squared to get the electric field by itself. So basically, getting the electric field here is going to help it, help us out later in the calculations. Um, it's basically telling us what the electric field is within the sphere. So, and yeah, we'll see that um, later on. All right, now to start off for the big step, the calculations. Um, so first, um, the electric potential basically is equal to the negative of infinity to r um, of the electric field times dr. Now basically, to be able to calculate this, we're actually going to need to break it up into two different sections. One is the negative um, of the integral from infinity to big R, which is basically going from a point infinitely far away from the sphere to the radius of the whole sphere. Um, basically, so we'll take the integral of the electric field times dr of that, and then we're going to subtract from that um, the integral from big R, the radius of the whole sphere, to little r, which is basically the radius of where that point is within the sphere that we're interested in. And then take the integral there of the electric field times dr as well. All right, so then going down to the next step. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So the left side... Um, so it will take the negative of the integral from infinity to big R, and then basically um, simplifying for the electric field there, um, this we've done plenty of times before, it is um, 1 over 4 by epsilon naught, which is k, um, times q over r squared dr. And then um, we're going to subtract from that the integral from big R to little r of q r dr over 4 pi epsilon naught um, big R um, cubed. So that's basically the um, electric field that we calculated earlier of the um, inside of the sphere going from um, big R, which is the radius, the, again, the radius of the whole sphere, to little r, which is where the point that we're interested in is. All right, so then going down from that, um, the electric potential, um, the first part um, simply goes to um, q over 4 pi epsilon naught r. That's been done in some of the problems as well. And then we're going to subtract from that, um, basically taking out the constants, we're going to be able to subtract q over 4 pi epsilon naught um, r cubed, and then um, and then basically times that by the integral 
of um, big R to little r, r dr, which is everything that we're interested in taking integral of, um, of that um, part right above it. All right, going down from there, simplifying a little, a little further, that first term is still the same, q over 4 pi epsilon naught r. We need to subtract um, q from that q over 4 pi epsilon naught big R um, cubed. And now basically after we take the integral of that, that's going to come out to r squared over 2 minus big R squared over 2. And that's basically going to be um, multiplied by that second term right there. Um, then going down from that, what we're going to do basically is going to be we're going to distribute that section that's um, in the parentheses right there. And after we do that, that first term is still going to be the same. And then we're going to um, come out with minus q little r squared over 8 pi epsilon naught big R cubed plus q big R squared divided by 8 pi epsilon naught big R cubed. Okay, go on to the last couple steps right here. So that top one there is just the same thing rewritten as what I had before. So you can see in comparison to the next step here. So what we're going to do basically is, um, in this case, we're going to be able to combine um, the first and third term in this. Um, and that simplifies out to 3q divided by a pi epsilon naught r. And then we subtract that second term there, which is still the same, q little r squared divided by a pi um, epsilon naught um, big R cubed. All right, so then um, after we simplify that one more time, um, this actually is our final answer here, which would be Q divided by a pi epsilon naught um, big R. And then um, that is all multiplied by three minus little r squared divided by big R squared. So that'd be the final answer. So that is how you find the electric potential um, of a sphere. So thanks for watching.